And this is where we're going to breakfast. It's an old school photo of the Blue Angel. I'm so thirsty. I need coffee. I need a glass of water. I wanted to work out, but this is what happens when you stay until 4 a.m. in the hot tub and then you don't wake up until 1. You look Pedro! Are you recording? Hola! Si! You want me to give a live on location here reporting? Yes, please! Hi, we're here live on location in beautiful Cozumel with the human specimen, Jean Dooley. Hello. Uh, hola! Hola! Scott, you in this? Now I'm in the front. <laughs> How many mimosas do you have, Scott? Why? Why do you order to have more? Do you have a drinking problem? Gene will be dabbing for us. Go ahead. Give him a dab. Dab? I don't dab. No dabbing. Gene will be dabbing for us. I'm the only one who didn't order a mimosa. My underage niece got me this shirt. Gianna was like, I saw the shirt. It's perfect for you. It's my niece's name is Gianna. And this is Blue Angel. It is a restaurant and a boutique hotel, which I think it looks super cute. And a scuba spot, evidently. I think there's a reef like right here on the bottom. A lot of people are scuba diving. You get out like right there, paradise. So I still have to learn a lot about Cozumel. I didn't do any research before I came. I don't consider myself a control freak by any means, but when I travel, I like to see as much as humanly possible. I I want to see it all. I want to see what, what is the most important thing. Like, what's the best thing? What's the most important thing? What's the most um, whatever thing? So I really didn't look up anything about Cosmo, but now that I'm here, I'm like itching to know more about the culture and the history. It's interesting because even though it's a cruise ship destination, Cozumel Mouth to me feels, it feels a more homier than Cancun. Cancun was beautiful, the resort was amazing. The people there were so wonderful. The beaches were so beautiful. Something about being here on the island and it might also be because we're staying in a condo as opposed to a resort or hotel, so it feels very homey. Like I could literally see myself coming here for like weeks, months. I want to say it reminds me of Avalon, which I know sounds ridiculous because I'm in this beautiful paradise in the Jersey Shore. It's, it's, it's not really this, but there's a little bit more of a small town feel here, even though it's a tourist area, which I think would be comparable to an Avalon situation because Avalon is a small town. Like not many people live there. Most of the people that are there are indeed tourists, even though we're local to the area. I don't know. So so far, I'm really, really, really loving Cozumel. I like the feel here. Me gusta. Me gusta mucho. So this is known as the smallest church in the world. Que bonita. Doesn't get fresher than this, I feel like. What's that? If it doesn't get fresher than this. Yeah, seriously. And this is the first time we had coconuts yesterday, but this is the first time I've ever had one like knocked down by on a tree. Thinking about old times. I've waited 
soul. 